Hey guys, it is your boy Climax, and today we're going to do a Detroit Pistons rebuild, and we're doing this because of the Andre Drummond trade. Now, the Detroit Pistons are like the eighth seed, like that's their max potential with Andre Drummond. That was what they were getting every year. They were like middle of the pack, so we're going to try to trade the middle of the pack for a top of the line Eastern Conference team in this one year rebuild. Now, how we're going to do that is we're probably going to trade Blake Griffin, uh, Derrick Rose, everyone on this team, basically, for a much better team. Now, that is what we are aiming for, and we will see if we can actually get that. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to go to staff, first of all, in this rebuild, and we're going to get new staff. But, guys, if you do like the content, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. It really helps me out. Um, please do that, and... Go check out the other videos on the channel if you want to see other one-year rebuilds of recent trades that have happened. But we're going to get back into this rebuild, and we're going to go to roster, and we're going to change the positions up of these players to max out their overall potential because a lot of these players go up in overall as you move them around. So we are going to do that because why not? I don't know if it actually helps in the, with the trading, but anything, anything helps, really. Every, anything and everything helps us out. So we are going to trade Christian Wood and John Henson here. We're going to see what we can get. We're not going to absolutely, we're not, we don't have to trade these guys, but it would be, we're just seeing what is offered to us. Devontae Graham and Cody Zeller. Ooh, a Hawks first round pick which could be very valuable to us later on. Hmm. We could get Zubach and Patrick Beverly, which would be our backup center and our backup point guard for the rest of the rebuild. And we are going to do that. So that got locked up there. Now what we will do is we're going to try to trade uh, Derek Rose and with Thon Maker. And because... They're valued very highly, so hopefully we can get some one good. Uh, Jared Allen, Spencer did with the uh, Jamal Murray actually, Jeremy Grant, Jackson Hayes, Son Whiteside, and Little. Hmm. Let's see. Do we want to do that? Ah, uh, uh, what do we want here? That's the question. We could get Jared Allen and Spencer Didwitty. Jared Allen is a good player. Or we could get Mitchell Robertson and Bobby Portis. Yes, I think we are going to do this Mitchell Robertson and Bobby Portis for Derrick Rose. Because we do not have a center on the team and Bobby Portis is a fine power forward for us. He, he'll be fine right now, but we definitely do need to make more trades. But what we actually will do is we're going to move Mr. Robinson to power forward right away because he goes up in overall quite a bit. So what we were going to do, we're going to trade um, Marcus Morris, Markeith Morris in Langston Galloway. We're going to see what we can get. We can get Fred Van Leet as our starting point guard. I mean, that would not be bad, but we are going to go to player finder here. We're going to go to point guard, and we are going to go to Chris Paul because Chris Paul is usually available. But the problem is that we will probably need to trade um, ooh, Blake Griffin for him, but it looks like we might be able to do this without that trade. Without Blake Griffin, that would be huge. Let's throw in another second round pick. Let's throw in a first round pick. Another first round pick. Okay, they will not do that. Okay. Um, let's throw in this first round pick. Nope. Let's throw in some seconds. And I think they should do this. Okay, let's throw in a first they still don't want to do that. Hmm. Okay, let's throw in a player. Um, let's throw in, like, this guy, who is a two-star value, so he should be good. OK, 
Okay, and now let's throw in a first round pick and a second round pick. Okay, let's throw in another deep first round pick. Okay, and not doing that. That first round pick. Oh boy, this is a lot for Chris Paul, but okay, they don't even want to do that. So we probably not going to get Chris Paul. Can we get uh, Derek De'Aaron Fox here? They do value... They do value Markeith Morris a lot. So let's try to do this. We need a player on their team, Justin James. Will you do that? No. Okay, let's go here and here. And then let's throw in another second overall pick. Because it seems like Deer and Fox is e decent, e he is pretty easy to trade for usually, it seems like. But today, it doesn't look like that's the case. Let's throw in two first overall picks. And we do get De'Aaron Fox on the team. So now it is looking all right. Um, let's see. Do we have a roster spot available? No, we do not. So we will have to get that going. Let's see. Langston Galloway and this oh this guy because he does have some trade value we could get reggie jackson but he's a good backup point guard but we do not need a backup point guard because we already have a backup point guard so we are looking here we could get a center there but that's not really what we are going for hmm yeah, Langston. Ooh, okay, let's let's do. Did we trade away our really young player? Yes, we did. Huh? Yeah, we must have. Okay. Let's do this guy in Brandon Knight, or I suppose we could go to Player Finder here, go to Shooting Guard Small Forward, and see what we can get. Maybe Chris Middleton, DeMar DeRozan we probably could get. Zach Levine, usually you can trade for him, but I don't know if we have enough even to trade for him. Let's see here. We could do Brandon Knight with this first overall pick. With another first overall pick, and they do that. So we do have Zach Levine on the team now as our shooting guard. Um, let's see here. Do we have... Nope, we do not have a roster spot available. So we are going to do that right quick here. Um, the Cleveland Cavaliers will give me a first overall pick. And all we have to do is accept 1.5 million bucks from them. So that is good. And we will go to free agency here and pick up our man Tyreek Evans who we always pick up in our rebuilds because he is a good small forward for us here as he goes up to a 77 overall so he will start for us okay guys I think this is a team that we're gonna be rocking with until we trade Blake Griffin our bench is not that strong but we will get Luke Kennard and Blake Griffin that we will be able to trade or keep so, you guys, here's the team that we're going to be rocking with until we trade Blake Griffin. And when we trade Blake Griffin, I will definitely come back and show you all. All right, guys, we did trade a Blake Griffin for Chris Paul. Now, you may be like, oh, well, you already have a point guard on the team. But Chris Paul, we will be able to trade him away. And De'Aaron Fox is now on the bench. So, we will be able to trade one of those guys by the end of the year. So, don't worry. We will definitely get... One of those guys, a good value. We will get good value for one of them because we will trade them away. Ooh, we could get Clint Capella there, and I don't think I'm going to have to look at any other options because Clint Capella is far superior as we're going to trade Luke Kennard for Clint Capella. I don't know why they would do that trade, but they did that trade. Okay, guys, here's the team. Chris Paul, Zach Levine, Tyreek Evans, Mitchell Robinson, Clint Capella's De'Aaron Fox, Bobby Portis, Patrick Beverly, Subach, and Bembry. Okay, our bench is looking pretty good, but we can trade this guy. Because um, he does have some value, so we will trade him later on. 
I would like to do some moving around here. So Chris Paul goes up to an 89 overall shooting guard. And Zach Levine goes up to an 87. So I think we're going to do this here. And this is the team now with De'Aaron Fox, Chris Paul, Zach Levine, Mitchell Robinson, and Clint Capella as our starters. We have Bobby Portis, pa Beverly, Zubach, Evans, and Bembry coming off the bench. Yeah, guys, this is a team that we're going to be rocking with until the trade deadline, and I probably will make some more trades. So, yeah, guys, when anything, another, when something else interesting happens, I will definitely show y'all. All right, guys, we are going to do this trade. Uh, Mitchell Robinson form, bam, out of bio. And now we are doing that because Mitchell Robinson is not playing good at power forward at all. So we're going to try bam, out of bio there. Who goes up to a 90 over? So, yeah, guys, we have uh, De'Aaron Fox. Chris Paul, Zach Levine, Bam Adebayo, and Clint Capella as a starting lineup with Bobby Portis, Patrick Beverly, Zubac, Derek Jones Jr., and Tyreek Evans off the bench. So this team is looking pretty good. We are 38 and 12, so it is good for us. Uh, yeah, guys, I think that is the only trade that we will do. Um, but if I do decide to make another trade, I will show you guys. But yeah, I think that is it. All right, guys, here are the awards for the year, but take a moment to look at the bottom right of your screen, and you will see a 64-18 and 18 Detroit Pistons record. Guys, this is the one-year rebuild, and we turned them into a 64-win team. Beast, man. We're just balling out. Dwayne Casey as coach of the year. We are first, first, and first with a 93 overall team. Um, D'Angelo Russell actually made all NBA first team as well as Carl Anthony Towns. Wow, the uh, Timberwolves have something to look forward to. You see two Lakers there, but we do not see any Pistons. Um, oh, Chris Paul actually made the all NBA third team with 18 points and 10 assists and two steals. Good to see there. Uh, no Pistons, which is kind of disappointing, but we are first in the Eastern Conference. Here are the individual stats. As you see here, we have Zach Levine averaging 26 as our leading scorer. Chris Paul with 18-10. De'Aaron Fox with 17-8. and eight. So Chris Paul and De'Aaron Fox were just a dynamic duo. Uh, Bam out of bio, 13, 11, 2, 1, and 1.5. And Clint Capella with 13, 12, and 1.5. And uh, Bobby Portis is out 2 to 4 weeks, but that should not hurt us right away with he averages 12, 10, and 7 for Zubach. Tyreek Evans was 8. Well, he's out 1 to 2 weeks. Patrick Beverly, solid off the bench. Derek Jones, Jones Jr., solid. Solid. Um, this guy was okay. So, yeah, guys. Here is we should not have any problems with this first round against the Indiana Pacers. Guys, I cannot believe we won 64 games. If we turn this team into a 64-win team, that's crazy. But we do have to face the dreaded 76ers in the second round. Now, guys, this is the matchup that we are going to be. This is going to be probably the hardest matchup in the East because the Sixers play amazing in the sim as we go up 3-2. And we beat them in six games. Okay, guys, we are in the um, Eastern Conference Finals. We are going to go to a nine-man rotation here just because... Well, Derek Jones Jr. does not need to get any minutes as of right now. And uh, the two LA teams are in the Western Conference f Finals. As we are taking on the Milwaukee Bucks, we are in Detroit for the first game. And as a close game, but they do pull it out. Chris Middleton actually leading the team. Oh, if we're going to win, we cannot have Eric, Be Eric Bledsoe scoring over 20 points. Because Chris Middleton and Giannis will get their points. But if we can limit everyone else, then we should be good. But as we lose game two as well, Giannis Antetokounmpo, they just they just played very good defense on us. And none of our guys stepped up and could score the ball. Our bench played horrible. So our bench is, is just getting out played by their bench. Let's see. Chris Paul is out for the year. So that kind of stinks. Um, we could move Tyreek Evans to shooting guard because Chris Paul is out for the season. That drastically hinders our ability here. Tyreek Evans now is our starting point, 
shooting guard, but that really stinks. Wow, that really stings, but did I see that Giannis is out one to two weeks, DiVincenzo's out the season, and Elias Sola's day-to-day? -day? So is Giannis playing in this game? If Giannis is not playing, we should win. Giannis still is playing, but he is playing hurt. So, oh, Tyreek Evans got hurt now? Golly. All of our players are just getting hurt. As the game is tied up, ooh, we take a good lead here, and it looks like, oh, will we? Come on. Yes, we do win by three with Tyreek Evans scoring 32. 32 from Tyreek Evans and injured Tyreek Evans. Here we go. Here we go. Tyreek Evans. Yeah, you're still going to get 30 minutes because you ball out, bro. Oh, uh, they win quarter one. We do win quarter two, though, as they are one quarter three, and they are winning quarter four, and they win the game. Guys, this is game six. We need to win the next two games. Otherwise, we just are not going to advance, and we will lose in the Eastern Conference. But we have a huge quarter two as we do win game six. This is game seven. This is for all the marbles. Tyreek Evans is healthy again it does look like we are going to advance to the NBA finals as we finally held the honest to under 30 points and we are facing the LA Lakers who have swept all of their opponents so far hopefully we can beat them in game one because we are in Detroit but they have a huge uh, third quarter as they come back and we are leading by one but they come back and they're leading by four and we lose game one as they beat us in the second half we had the lead but we just could not hold it we choked it away as we see here avery bradley's oh bobby portis is injured now for us so he is a big bench player for us as they beat us in this game too as well come on guys come on we need to get this one we need this one as we have a big quarter three and a big quarter four, but it looks like they are too much for us as we cannot get that game either. It doesn't look so good, guys. We are down three, nothing, as we have a huge quarter one, and it looks like we are not going to get swept. The LA Lakers are not going to go 16-0 and in this playoffs, but... We are down 3-1 now as we win this game as well. We are down 3-2. Still, guys, the odds the odds of us actually winning are so slim. It's not even funny as they have a huge quarter one, and that is probably going to be the nail in the coffin. Clint Capella with 20, but Anthony Davis and LeBron James were too much for us as LeBron James is your finals MVP, guys. Well, this was the one-year Detroit Pistons rebuild, guys. I think this roster was pretty good, as with everyone healthy, this roster was very good. Um, definitely a good, solid, young team, actually. Besides Chris Paul, this team is pretty young. Uh, core of Bam Adebayo, Zach Levine, and De'Aaron Fox is lethal for many years to come. Yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. This has been Climax's one-year rebuild of Detroit Pistons. We turned them into a 64-win team, and we got them to the NBA Finals, but we, the LeBron James and Anthony Davis were too much for us. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. Check out the other videos on the channel. I got a small ball Houston Rockets rebuild. That's pretty interesting to see if small ball is the way to win in the final in the NBA. As we see, they did not do well. They got swept by the Thunder in this in this playoffs. But who knows? Maybe they can do it. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.